surprised you, huh, guys? Guess where we're going? Not Fish Guy Mike's. We're going to Sea Level Aquarium. Today we're going to get some hermit crabs and some corals. If I can find a good deal on something today, I'd like to get something right in there where the old Kenya tree was. Belt up. I'm gonna kill myself today. What I'm doing is we're going to sea level aquarium. And I'm trying to do it with the gimbal in my hand. And I already hit some traffic. So I'm going off road, off the highway. Anyway, I wanna get two coral and I want to get hermit crabs. I need hermit crabs. I had an explosion of hair algae on the sand bed. Last week I did a water change and in the process of trying to remove some detritus, vacuuming off the bottom, and what happened now is that exposed that white sand to the light and in a high nutrient environment, there you have it. Route 80 East is my main highway to travel. That goes from New York to Cali. And for some reason there was traffic backed up, so I'm going away that I know how to get there. So I don't want to just vacuum that off again. It'll do it all over again. I'm kind of getting the hang of this. Guess why I'm considering even recording this way? Guess what they're doing in the apartment next to me? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not below me now, next to me. They're remodeling a kitchen. They're demolitioning hammers, drills. Everything's happening, so I don't know where we're going to go from here. I thought we'd go down and we'd do this, come back and see where things stand. Maybe they'll quit early. I have a little hair in there, and that's due to low flow, and I have a little bit of bubble algae. Now, that came in in Fish Guy Mike's rock. He's had bubble algae on his, so I'm going to try to siphon those out when I do a water change today. So now you're down there, guys. Because I almost got in an accident holding it that way. I was look, not looking at the road enough. I'm in the next town over. I already know better. 24K got nothing on me. Make you want it forever. Try to play a game, but you don't. All right, I'm back on track. I wasn't too far, about a mile, eh, maybe less. You know, when you're talking and driving at the same time, it's hard to see where you're supposed to turn. So what I thought I'd do is do a little testing like I have in the past. I want to see what could have caused this explosion of hair algae. So I have my phosphate and nitrate. We're here guys. All right, now look, new viewers, last time I went incognito in here with my mic hidden, because this guy can be a little moody sometimes with the camera. Today I'm gonna go in and try to just do it with the camera out. With my mic on and just see what happens okay so if he gets grumpy and i have to turn it off then i'll just show you what i get when i get home all right all right let's go take me out into the water
I did it. So let's take them back and I'll show you when I get back. That's a perfect example of how low nitrate and low phosphate will make no difference. Sometimes it's more about disturbing your ecosystem, guys. And by vacuuming a little bit in here, I exposed the underlying sand bed and created this algae. I did a video some time ago on perfect parameters, I think it was called, one of them. And I explained how when you have trace nitrate in the water, it doesn't mean you don't have nitrate in the water. It means that your tank is using all the nitrate up that's created in the cycle. So for example, I might have zero nitrate because of this algae growing. And the same with the phosphate. Oh, that went off now. Same with phosphate. 0.07 is low for me. That is not an issue in terms of creating algae problems. The plan today, guys, is to remove this pipe organ. It's actually growing up against the glass. And I'm not sure about the hammer because I have to find a particular flow for that in the 10 gallon. The jack hammering was too much next door. So here's the transferred pipe organ into the 10 gallon. This is about 15 minutes after I put it in. I just used a little of the BSI glue gel. She hate me, I hate me too I can always tell when you're lying Girl, you're see-through All these miles away, yeah I just wanna see you Baby, give me good faith She hate me like... I'm putting some BSI gel on this Super glue And this is a Ganapora And uh, it's a flower pot There's many names for it So I'm putting it in the six-gallon Pico There it is and here's some green mushrooms I found down there, really large ones. They're small now, obviously. I also moved this mushroom rock in the 10 gallon peninsula up to the side on the edge of the larger live rock so these would grow up and onto the live rock rather than the substrate down on the bottom. So I've acclimated the hermit crabs and I've dropped them in on the bottom there. And let's see what they can do to this algae. 